Well, when we're talking about tunnels, I mean, we're talking about a very wide subject, or indeed a very deep subject, um, because, I mean, they are, they are widespread around the city, and they are used for different purposes. So some will actually date back to times of religious persecution. They are secret tunnels. Um, but others are much more recent. I mean, they could be Victorian canals or more recently Cold War um, underground networks. Well, certainly if you walk around the city centre of Manchester, more or less wherever you stand, there will be some sort of underground space very close to where you are. So um, I think I've unearthed a lot of secrets for many people. Um, most people who lived or, or work in the city didn't realise that any of these um, places um, existed. So I think the two books really have uncovered a lot of information that um, people didn't know. And indeed, as I started out on the research for it, I, I found out lots of new things. So clearly, it must be a revelation for other people too. What was it that sparked your initial interest then in the tunnels? I don't know, you see, I mean, I've lived and worked in Manchester most of my life, and it's just a fascination with these underground spaces. It's, it's history with mystery. Um, it's this, uh, the, this additional ingredient of this mysterious, closed, dark world underneath the streets, and it is a fascination for most people.